You can stand behind the rocks and avoid some of her stuff, but <clears throat> the one where she's in the middle and pops out anything, that's the one you really have to avoid. Alright, we're done 26. We, the rain, left the surface long ago that we might forge ourselves a peaceful life under the sea. Under the sea. Maintaining such serenity, however, is not always easy. My two sons can attest to that. From the crack of dawn until the dusk, they fight. Lately, things have started to escalate, and they have begun to trouble the entire village with their spats. I have scolded them on multiple occasions, telling them that such disturbing behavior is unacceptable. They, however, still refuse to listen. Perhaps you can try having a word with them. You can start with my oldest son. You should be able. You sh he should be over by the racks of dried fish. If he attempts to start a fight with you when you approach him, I suggest you respond with a resounding "huh." That should stop him. <laughs> That's not a son. That's a different quest. Oh my, you must be from the surface. Normally I would avoid associating with anyone of your ilk, but we are desperate in need of outside help. You see, two warm spring Kasami have made their way into the anemone gardens. Some of the men in our village went to dispatch with them, but because they are unused to fighting on land, none of them survived the encounter. If we do not manage to kill them off soon, we will end up consuming all of the available food there. Please, you must get rid of them for us. Sure. Huh? What do you want? Stop wasting my time. Hurry up and say what it is you've come to say. Huh. Oops. Huh. Oh, the emote, huh? 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 Who, who do you think you are to take such a lovely tone with me? Well, if it is a fight you want, it is a fight you will get. But wait. Perhaps this is what Mother meant when she said I had an unpleasant attitude. Now that I think on it, I have often done to my brother what you just did to me. Maybe it's what caused our constant brawls. I understand now. Thank you, sir, and my apologies for trying to fight you. If you happen to see my brother, t please tell him I am sorry. Okay. Which means his brother is probably over here. You came to tell me my brother says he is sorry? I do not believe you. His younger son appears to be in a sour mood and seems to be looking to take it out on someone. You best hunt at him. <laughs> you best hunt at him before you get things any further out of hand. Huh. What do you. You did that because I seem grumpy? No, you misunderstand. Mother also often comments that I seem sullen. I am not. I simply do not have much to say. Perhaps my brother has also been mistaking my silence for anger, and that is why he shouts at me. I must go and sort this out with him. Thank you, sir. You have made me realize how important it is to let others know what I am thinking. I shall go find my brother now. Conflict Resolution I've saved the world three times with the help of my friends, and yet I have to explain or get two brothers to go, hey, we need to talk to each other. Perhaps now they will a be able to find a way to reconcile their differences. Thank you. Until you came along, I was at a loss as to what to do. By nature, we avoid using any harsh words or actions. As such, most of what I have to say is easily brushed aside by my children. You, however, have gotten through to them where I could not. 
Now the people of the village need not be disturbed by their angry shouts any longer. Please accept this small gift as a token of my appreciation. Hey, XP! I see our wait time jumped 20 minutes. Huh. Huh. Princess wants to save her friend. There she is. Tamamizu. It is not so different than to that of our own village. That's what I said. Now, where should we begin our search for this ancient Kojin remedy? We should ask some of the Kojin that we know, yeah. Hmm, while well, I have met some Kojin during their stay in our village, I am afraid I cannot recall who any of them are. Ah, but wait, perhaps I spoke too soon, the merchant who gave me the tome. If I'm not mistaken, he goes by the name of Inben. Let us go search him out. Yes, princess. I think I've talked to that guy before. He's right down here, right? Nope, I've not talked to him before. And who might we have here? It has been many years, so it is difficult to be absolutely sure, but I think this is Master Imben, the merchant I told you about. Hmm? Imben? That is my name. Do we know each other from somewhere? Does the name Kurunai ring a bell? Kurunai. Yes, I remember now. You are the little girl from the palace. People grow so fast, they do. You have changed so much, I scarcely recognize you. <laughs> Mr. Inban, Master Inban, I am glad to see you have not forgotten me. We have sought you out today to ask you something regarding the book of fairy tales you gave me long ago. Ha ha ha, I remember that one. What would you like to know? You are looking to find a cure for your sleeping friend. A most noble cause indeed. I am an ad avid collector of ancient tomes, and one of them is the exact remedy you speak of. An elixir that can awake those who have fallen into a deep slumber. Truly? Then might you share with me the recipe so I can recreate it? The recipe should be able to find. The necessary ingredients, on the other hand, not so much. What do you mean? To make this potion requires the shell of a bloated yen... Umemi, a giant Umemi that has had over 100 years to mature. Decades have passed since one of these was last spotted. Your only hope now would be to capture a Umemi larva and wait 100 years for it to grow potent enough to make a cure. No, that cannot be. It's too early to give up. You are absolutely right. Just as you saved Sh Shisui of the Violet Tides against all odds, so too must we rescue Hisui regardless of how hopeless it seems. We will find this mythical creature no matter how long, how hard or long we must search. Hmm. <clears throat> Perhaps it is as you say. If you were to look hard enough, you will find one. If you are serious about this, I would suggest you begin your search in exile. It was formerly a, considered a prime hunting ground for these creatures. Kelp was often used to lure them out of hiding. Then I shall go and gather some straight away. Good. Gather the most succulent stalks you can find and take them into a cave. Into the cave. If any bloated Umemi are present, they will immediately be drawn to you. Or perhaps you should have this man here take them. You appear to be as strong as our gatekeeper, you do. No doubt you will be able to make quick work of whatever appears. Kokard, I shall meet you at exile in a bit. Kelp in hand. Okay. I 
excellent. That is over there where our other quest is too. Sploosh. Sploosh. So these islands are under the water. Oh, they're little bubble areas, just like the villages. <clears throat> Hi, Karnai. I'm here. I made sure to collect the longest and most luscious stalks of kelp I could find. Here, the hunting grounds master in bed mentioned are in the deep recesses of the cave just over there. Thanks. From what I gather, the bloated Umemi's great age is what allows them to accumulate an incredible amount of magic, most of which is concentrated in their shell. We can only hope that should one be here, it will be tempted out of hiding by sweet smell of his favorite food. Okay. Uh, we dropped from 20 minutes to 13, which makes me think we're going to get another primal. Or we just got lucky. Nope, we just got lucky. Siren Song C. We got a Scholar. Dragoon. Lancer. Another Dark Knight, and me. Okay. Let's go. Handle it. Run to the center. Round two. Fight.
Oh, that's the dead. I pulled a little too much. Oh well. Space rock.
What? I already have one of those? I do have one of those. Huh. I'm gonna go. Oh, he's gonna die.
earrings. I have two things. Okay, two sixty earrings. Looks like I got some tanking gear going on.
I don't know what that dragoon ability is that does it makes that noise. Bad. Okay. 
No commendations. Oh well. Oh yeah. All right. So, card, Master Inban grew worried and kindly came to check upon us. Did you have any luck in the cave? Yep. Here's your giant shell. I don't know how I carried it. Is this what I think it is? You did it, Silkard. You have procured a bloated Umimis shell. Perhaps the very last one in existence, even. Well, at least for a hundred years. So this is a shell rumored to be capable of curing any ailment. It looks nothing like that of a regular Umami. That you were able to find one so quickly makes me wonder if the bloated Umami is not as gone as we think. Mayhap they simply began burrowing deeper into the earth in response to our excessive hunting. I must make up for this grievous miscalculation. Please give me the shell. I shall make the remedy that you seek and deliver it to Sui Nosato. It may take some time to prepare, but you should, but should be well worth the wait. Awesome. Thank you very much. Now Hisui might finally be saved from eternal slumber. So, Gord, once again, I am in your debt. Together, let us return to Sui no Sato that we might share the story of your success with Shiosai. Shiosai. Okay. Well, that is a good idea. I have to help out one of your other villagers. Right over here. Big Gasami is in the an enemy. Yeah, Warm Spring Gasami.
Okay. You defeated them? Thank you. Thank you so very much. You have saved us from starvation. Seaweed and mollusks that are not one of our main sources of food. You memi especially are very nutritious and without them we would not be able to sustain ourselves. Unfortunately they also happen to be one of the worms ring Gasami's favorite things to snack on. Had you not slain them when you did we would have been in dire straits. What is worse is that these vicious beasts seem to be growing stronger, something possibly owing to the increasing number of eruptions from Hell's Lid. You are incredibly strong, but you best also take care when dealing with these beasts in the future. Don't worry, I got this. Cry. Josai have been has been duly informed of all that happened. When I told him of how you slayed the bloated Umemi, his eyes went wide and his mouth dropped. Haha. <laughs> Rarely do I ever see him so surprised. Then again, he has every right to be. Your efforts have allowed Master Inbon to set upon making a remedy that should, in theory, have been impossible to recreate. Which reminds me, I believe I owe you an apology. You were only to escort me to Tami Mizu, but due to our but due to my own inability, you were forced to do so much more than that. Truly, I do not know what I would do have done without you. In addition to saving my people, you have opened my eyes to the world. Through you, I have come to learn so much. When I finally returned to Shisui of the Violet Tides and reassume my role as the Ruby Princess, I shall look back finally upon the memories we created together on this grand adventure. Until such a time that Hisui awakens, however, I shall remain here. I sorely hope that you shall too. We want this. 265 necklace. She has another quest. Huh. This area is not a, uh... I mean, it's a small town, but it's not, like, a rested area. That's weird. Okay, so repair. Current eye. Okay, so it is a little after four. I'm gonna call it for today. I have a dinner that I have to go to late. Um, so, tomorrow is Monday. There's no stream tomorrow. Tuesday and Wednesday are Overwatch Mystery Heroes. We might have a surprise on Tuesday. Last I heard, Brigitte, Bridget, Brigitte, depends on how you want to say it, whether you want to say it the Swiss way or the way every crazy American has been pronouncing it for a while. Anyway, uh, <laughs> she's supposed to be released on Tuesday. So we might get some her mystery heroes and see how that goes. Anyway, that's going to be Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, Thursday we will be back to Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I don't know if we'll be bard leveling or chocobo racing or triple triad cards. Depends on how much homework time I have to do um, or have a chance to do. So uh, I do thank everybody for stopping by. Uh, remember, if you like what you see here or want to see more videos, Go ahead and click up there. Follow button. Looks like a heart. Probably says follow. 
uh, here on Twitch. And as always, if you missed any of this, you can catch it on YouTube. The videos get loaded within a day or two. Please go subscribe over there. Uh, thanks again, guys, and I will see you next time.